Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard and today I'm coming to you from someplace. Well, I'm coming to you from a brewery. I'm coming to you from a brewery outside, out in, believe it or not, in Florida. There's really good weather right now. This brewery is, is right by uh, the Fort Lauderdale International Airport and the Fort Lauderdale Cruise Port right behind me. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about, I go places all the time, be it in the U.S., outside of the U.S., on cruise ships, on excursions, on catamarans, on stuff like that, that don't have a physical electricity plug. Plus, you know, these USB ports, if you go out and about and you plug in a USB port, it's kind of sketchy nowadays because data goes over the USB port as well. So what I want to talk to you about today is I want to talk to you about the batteries that I use. And there are two batteries that I use. One is a bit older and one is a bit newer. Uh, I like to say one of them is uh, over-engineered and one of them is engineered just right. Uh, we're going to be talking today about the Anker 737 battery. Which is right here. I currently have three of these in my arsenal, uh, as well as, let me see what the other one is. It's called the Anchor Prime battery. It's so like Amazon Prime. So you got the Anchor Prime power bank, which is here, and then the Anchor 737. Now these are both just about at the limit of what you can bring on an airplane. So I want to talk, compare, contrast the differences because still there's about a hundred dollar price difference between these two right now. And the question is, which one is right for you for unlimited power you know seriously i do have just to show you i need to i need to cut out some of my battery banks because i really don't need this many battery banks these are uh because these 737s i had two and then two wasn't enough so i got three so i have a uh, three 737s and one prime i can do a review of so you can tell i already kind of like the 737 the 737 is a uh, 27 thousand wait no 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 that's the other one uh, is a 24,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, I'll give you an example. That's about the size of a battery in a MacBook Air. 27,000, no, 24,000 milliamp hours, about the size of a battery in a MacBook Air. Now, this has two USB C ports on it and a USB A port for some ungodly reason. I keep a little adapter in my bag that turns that USB A to USB C. What I do love about it though, is it's a little bit over-engineered. You turn it on, you'll see that, you know, it shows you the percent and it will show you the percent if you turn it right, if you turn it upside down, it should flip the percent. Uh, maybe not. Come on, over-engineer me. Did I not tell this one to flip? Uh, I got like three of them. I told one, there we go, 93 flips. Yeah, I mean, the over-engineering is a, a little bit crazy here, but here's the cool thing. I can take 100 watts of power in or out, and actually probably closer to 120 watts of power in or out of any of these. That means this will charge in about 50 minutes, five zero from dead, and it can charge a MacBook Pro, a 16 inch MacBook Pro at full speed. Also the other cool thing, if you have the correct cables, you need to make sure you have cables that can charge really, really fast, but if you have the correct cables, you can actually daisy chain, really bad idea, um, all three of these to a power bank, or I like to use, again, I like to use a 16 inch MacBook Pro power adapter. If you don't have that, Anchor actually sells some pretty cool stuff that, uh, let me see if I can, see if I can find it in my Amazon history. I had, I had search Anchor, okay. Uh, they actually sell something really cool called the Anchor Prime 6-in-1 charging hub, which gives you 140 watts out. So you can charge these things in about five zero minutes. And this is the Anchor 737, which you can hear maybe an airplane going over me right now, which is a 737, kind of fitting that I uh, chose this location. But about two or three, and these have been around for a while and they go for about, let me just see what, they're, what the 737 is going for right now. I haven't bought a 737 in a while. 737 is currently selling for $91.99. Now, it's got those cool features, really fast charging in, really fast charging out, 50 minutes or so to charge if you got the right charger being either a 16 inch MacBook Pro charger or something else that can charge at 140 watts. You do wanna make sure that you do have, oh, I dropped the 737. You do have some capable cables. These are the anchor cables that can go up to 140 watts or even better. Apple's got a cable that they put out 
that goes up to 240 watts of power, USB-C. There's, there's nothing that even takes that yet. Maybe some gaming laptops uh, take that. But this is actually, Apple is part of the USB-C and Thunderbolt consortium, which is making these cables. So this is a kind of useful cable to have. And I bought three of these this morning because I had some expiring Best Buy reward certificates. So uh, some nice braided 240 watt cable. But I want to talk about the big boy in the room, which is the new one. Well, which is not the 737 over my head but it is the Anchor Prime. I just got this uh, over Black Friday. It's the Anchor Prime Power Bank. It is 27,650 milliamp hours instead of 24,000 milliamp hours. So it's just a little bit bigger, about six or 7% bigger, but here's the cool thing. It charges faster. This takes about 40, four zero minutes to charge. Now, I wanna go over all the different features of this because the cool thing is this will actually tell you how long it's gonna take your device to charge or anything like that. Let me give you the price on it though. When we're like 90 something dollars, this is this has about an $80 premium on that. Well, currently, it was a little bit better on Black Friday, but this one's about $80 more than the, um, the Max, no, what do they call it? So the, the Prime, Amazon Prime, the Prime Perio Bank is about $80, $90 more than the, this one. And it's not that much bigger, but it has a lot of toys on it. What do I mean by toys? Well, I mean, I can, I think I can rotate it around. Actually, I don't know if this one has the rotate function. It's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, this one actually does not have the screen rotation that the 737 does. Kind of weird, but here's what this one does have. It does have an app. Now you might go, what the hell? Why do you need an app? Well, because without taking this battery out of your bag, you can tell just how full it is. So you'll see right now, this battery is at 100%. Now, if I were to just put a cable in right there, now either of these, it has the same ports as the other one, either of these two USB-C ports uh, can input and output 130, uh, or no, 140 uh, watts of electricity. Now, I will tell you, here's where it gets kind of cool. This unit, can actually output 100 watts to each of the USB-C ports. But you see, I've plugged in, and then I've plugged in, you'll see I am juicing some 54 watts to this 14-inch MacBook Pro. I did kind of uh, downgrade slash upgrade from my 16-inch MacBook Pro to a 14-inch to be a little bit more portable. But you can see I've got 58, or I can probably, I could probably put a load on this just for the giggles. Let's just try, I'm just going to try and export something from iMovie so you can kind of see, uh, let's just go export, export, come on, my iMovie needs to wake up, let's try this, I hit export, uh, we'll see if it wants to think, my iMovie's, uh, I don't know why it's being angry, but I want to show you just how fast this can charge, so I got it all the way to dead, and I'll show you kind of a time lapse of charging to show you how fast it charges. Uh, I'm gonna while I open iMovie back up. It takes about 42 minutes to charge from dead, 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 dead to full. It's the fastest charging battery I think I've ever seen, um, just from the pure size of it. The other cool thing it could do. Let me see if I can uh, export this video just to, because unfortunately this laptop is uh, is pretty full on its battery. But you see, we're at 99 percent. Now, if I wanted to, I don't, I don't know if I can actually do this. I should be able to plug this in and then charge this battery from that battery. Let's see. No. Low voltage protection activated. Please stop using. Well, I guess I can't, uh, I guess I can't link those to, I, actually, something was happening there. I'm not sure if that was in or out. Let's just see. I can link it together, but here's where it also kind of, when we talk about over-engineering, is if I, you know, like find my iPhone, I could tape an air tag to each of these so I can determine which one. Okay. So this is the prime bank is charging the 737 to give you an idea. Um, so if I wanted to find this uh, charger, I could tape an air tag to it or I could just. It's got a little annoying beeper noise. Like I said, you can always see what percentage 
the um, battery is at in the app. I only have one right now, so I don't know how angry it would get if you had two or three or whatever like that. But here's where it also gets really cool. You can see I'm at 99% right now. The question is, how many charges will it do to this 14-inch MacBook Pro? Valid question. So I can actually click number of charges available, and I've got programmed in quite a few number of things. Well, since I've had it for a week or so, I've got my 14-inch MacBook Pro, I've got my 15-inch, well, I was like, where's that 15-inch iPhone Pro Max? Uh, that's what I'm reading it off of right now. I've got my 15-inch iPhone Pro Max, and I can charge my 14-inch Pro 0.9 times. I can charge my iPhone 15 Pro Max 3.9 times. The cool thing is this is dynamic. Or I can charge my iPhone battery case, which my 15 Pro Max goes in, just so I don't have to keep things plugged in all day, um, one time with the remaining charge. So I can actually see the iPhone's full right now, but I can actually see the wattage moving in and out. Again, the one thing... My one negative with all of these is that USB-A port. The USB-A port is a little goofy. Uh, the, the, I mean, everything in my life is now USB-C other than one thing. I have one thing that's not USB-C. And what it very strangely is, is it is actually my, um, my AirPods, AirPods Pro Max. So you can actually monitor the power going in and out. And I like to say, hey, look, I've used these two USB ports, but here's the cool thing. The Mac has another two on it. So this has enough power that you can use your Mac as a charging hub. So even just with this guy right here, you've got it charging. It does show you on the screen, the same thing that it's showing you on the screen of the phone. It'll also show you, you can turn Bluetooth on and off. I've not found any phantom suck from Bluetooth. It'll show you how many times you can charge two devices there. Just so you know, you can choose your screen timeout, but very, very strangely, this one doesn't rotate. While the uh, the larger one, no, the, the older one, the 7, 737, actually does rotate. Here's the thing. Right now, if you're talking about the actual price, and, and the cool thing is you can actually see a graph over time of your total output. So if I want to drop the output, I can drop the output and the, the graph will go down. Uh, your total price right now, you're going to be better off getting some of these the 737s, uh, because they're not that much smaller. They charge just as fast. They don't output as much to two devices at once, but they will output just as much to one device as once, uh, at once. Um, I would have to say for now, until the price comes down a little bit, skip the Prime Power Bank, get yourself a 737. But as I see the deals come up, I love the Prime Power Bank. I've got one. That means I can get rid of one 737. And then when a deal comes up again, I'll get rid of another 737. I'll get another, rid of another 737. I'll get a Prime. If money's no object and you like fun, shiny, nice tech toys, the Prime is the best power bank you can buy right now. And it's over-engineered to the Prime degree, to the Max degree, whatever you want to say. Um, I combine my Prime along with this uh, case from, uh, who's this, from Zero Lemon. This thing will keep my iPhone at 100% all day. This thing will keep my MacBook Pro while it's running export tasks and fun stuff like that at 100% all day. Like I said, right now, the Prime one is probably not worth that $80 premium for a little bit more milliamp hours uh, over the 737. But as the times change and the prices go down, and also one other thing I forgot to tell you, there's another way you can actually charge this thing. There's a base you can buy and you can charge it that way. But as weird as it sounds, that actually charges it slower than the 140 watt MacBook Pro charger I have or the uh, Anchor Prime charger I have. So uh, I don't actually want to use those pogo plugs because it's going to charge slower. We'll keep it always charged, but it's going to charge slower. If you've got any questions between the Anchor 737 and the Anchor Prime, feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you've got uh, any more detailed questions, um, you shoot me an email, nopantsprofits at gmail.com. Uh, this is Richard from No Pants Profits saying for now, for now, you're going to want to go ahead and stick with that uh, stick with that 737, in my, in my opinion. I think that what was the name. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, stick, stick with that. Uh, uh, they make it so hard to find the name. Go back one. That's the Anchor Prime is the new one. I would stick with that 737 power bank for now, unless you get a deal on the Prime, because I don't think it's worth 
uh, what is it, uh, like $80 more for some cool nerdy features. But as I see, I, I only paid like $40 more. Uh, well, even, it all shifted down. It was still $80 more. Black Friday was a was a thing. But this is Richard from No Pants Profit showing you how I keep charged up when I'm out and about and reminding you that when you're like me, uh, well, and you wear no pants, the only thing you get left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. Bye.